be showing you guys five quick and easy healthy breakfasts that you can take on the go. And if you make any of these recipes, make sure to tag me on Twitter and Instagram so that I can like and repost them. And without further ado, let's just get on to the video. For this first breakfast idea, I made some overnight oats. So for the ingredients, you'll need one peach that I already peeled and cut, three quarter cup of old fashioned oats, three quarter cup of coconut milk, cinnamon and agave. Next, I combined everything together in an airtight container and I refrigerated overnight and I took it out in the morning and I drizzled some agave for some extra sweetness. Moving on to the second breakfast, I made a what I like to call a superfood smoothie. For the ingredients, I used frozen mixed berries, milk, Greek yogurt, banana, chia seeds, hemp hearts, and peanut butter. Then I combined everything into my blender and I also forgot to mention that I added some spinach but I put two handfuls of spinach and that's basically it. I don't measure anything whenever I make smoothies. The smoothie is definitely creamy and it's so healthy and delicious. For my next breakfast, I made a papaya boat. For the ingredients, I used papaya, yogurt, blueberries, banana, chia seeds, granola, and agave. I started off by cutting the papaya down the middle and scraped out all the seeds. Then I created a small well to put all the ingredients in so I filled it with some yogurt, fruit, and granola and I drizzled it with agave and sprinkled with chia seeds. And I totally forgot to put the banana in because it was sitting on top of the stove. So sorry about that, but it's up to you if you would like to put the banana in or not. It tastes just as good as without it. For my next breakfast, I made this peanut butter granola bars and oh my heavenly goodness, this was absolutely amazing. So for the ingredients, you'll need one and a half cups of Rice Krispie cereal, two cups of oats, three quarter cup of creamy peanut butter, half cup of agave, quarter cup of dark brown sugar, but I substitute it with coconut sugar, one eighth teaspoon of salt, and half teaspoon of vanilla extract. I'm going to start off by lining a baking dish with aluminum foil and set that aside. Now I'm going to mix the oats and the Rice Krispies together in a large mixing bowl and put that aside for later on. In a microwave safe bowl, I put in the peanut butter, honey, brown sugar, and salt and I put it in the microwave for one minute. Then I took it out of the microwave and mixed until everything was combined and I put it back in the microwave for one minute again. And lastly, I poured in the vanilla extract and I whisked it until everything was incorporated. Now the fun part is combining everything together and I tried mixing it with the spoon but it didn't really work out. So I used my hands and I forgot that the sauce was hot so I burned my hands a few times. So if you end up making it, make sure to just probably wait for the mixture to cool down a bit and then mix everything together. Lastly, pour into the pan and press it down for an even layer and then cover it with plastic wrap and refrigerate it overnight. The last breakfast is avocado toast and it is seriously my favorite thing in the entire world. And if you follow me on Instagram, then you would know that because I've been posting a lot of avocado toast pictures lately because I am clearly obsessed. For the ingredients, you will need avocado, obviously, um, bread, egg, and if you want, you can add some spices. Start off by cutting the avocado in half and then mashing it. Now this next step is optional but I love adding spices because it just gives it so much flavor so I added some Mrs. Dash, cumin, cayenne pepper, and turmeric. Now I'm going to mix everything together and then set that aside and moving on to my egg, I make my egg very differently each time. So on this day, I decided to flip it, but normally I don't flip it. Lastly, pop some bread in the toaster and you're basically done. I like to put more cumin and turmeric on top, but you can put whatever you prefer. Guys, I am basically an avocado toast enthusiast. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and leave a comment down below telling me what was your favorite thing that I made in this video. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below for more videos of mine. And I will see you guys on my next video. Bye.